about upgrades. April 17, 2015. Note. This session was one that I considered to be far more personal than what I normally do. It also took me some time to integrate and to consider what was said here. It seemed to want to stay still and simmer. I'm sharing it here now, as I feel it may also speak to some others as well. Yesterday, I had an energy healing session with Deva. I found out some interesting things about myself and also had some validations of some things I've suspected and considered for some time now. I got to see Aster in motion for the first time too. Aster. Yes, we are present always. It's you, yourself, that does not as yet have the vibration level to sense this. I do sense it. Only it isn't always so clear and present as it was in the moment while in this space of a healing session. Deva also said you appeared and told her there was work to do on my grounding. That you're trying to make better contact, and my lack of grounding was a feature that was preventing this. Aster. Indeed. There were also physical and energetic adjustments to be made, as you know. We have a specialized team to do such things, and they were very busy on you and still are. It will be many days until your recalibration will be completed. Rest and work on the grounding and the conscious breathing. These are the tools, which will facilitate the most rapid readjustment. During the session, while wondering what all the rather chaotic rushing around all over me the team was doing was about, what I realized was that my body is an older model like a classic Chevy. I got that it's well built with plenty of life left in it, but that it needed to be remodeled and upgraded. Aster. We would say that this is a good analogy, but we would take it further than this. We would suggest that the body unit will still look similar on the outside but will be very different on the inside when this work is complete. It will happen in phases, it's not possible for it all to happen at once, as it will be pacing with the development also of the upgrades in your consciousness. The consciousness leads the way to the changes in the body and not the other way around. You're always sovereign in your space, so there will need to be permission to do this sort of work. Always, you must give permission and ask for the help which will always be given. I got the notion while I was typing your response that there will be an upgrade that is in metaphor not unlike a classic Chevy that could not only keep on driving, but also fly, perhaps fly even in space. Aster. This is absolutely so, and will be a part of the future for you, either in fact in this current body, or perhaps in another along the same familial lines. So, you're saying my body I have now is one that I've had before, in the sense of being in the same familial lineage? Aster. We would say that this is so, but is not all that important in the grand scheme of things, and we would suggest this carrying of familial lines in the body is a portion of the burden of evolution you've personally agreed to take on and deal with on behalf of the collective or of your race, the race of Gaian humans. In the bigger picture, or in a broader sense of being, you're not, in actual fact, or in a truer truth, this continuation of matter in terms of the DNA you carry in your multidimensional being. DNA isn't only the physical aspects that are currently well known and recognized. There is a multidimensional aspect to these sacred codes as well. This subject is broader and more complex than is warranted in our current communication though, and we would leave this discussion for another time. All right. What I would ask is what is the broader message you were giving when you appeared in this session yesterday? I could see your lips moving but couldn't hear you. Aster. We came to attend you in this crucial moment in order to take advantage of the permission in your space to do this fuller integration work that you agreed to be on time. I spoke to Deva to hold the space while we, and I mean the very large group that is here to attend you, dear Andrea could take to task all that is required to prepare you. We are specialists and we are of many different specialties, all are healers of different varieties, our skills are extremely varied. Many are here to, in real time, creatively and spontaneously work within multidimensionality with you and your form and matter, in order to assist you on the mission you came into form for. It's I, 
Aster, who will take the position of being the funnel between this multitude of beings and yourself. You can take the perception of so many pressing into your consciousness all at once and therefore I will filter this for you. Yes, for a few moments, I felt that a whole lot of folks were crowding me to see what was happening, or perhaps to see what would need to be done, very chaotic and overwhelming. Thank you for stepping forward to act as a funnel or a bridge in this. Aster. It's important now for you to increase your level of connection with us and for you to build up the stamina for our interactions to become far more intimate and integrated with you. We know that too much too soon will only result in you going unconscious again, and we're here to support you in every way to expand instead of contracting again. I'm taking steps to ground myself, and also taking the suggestion to breathe and breathe more consciously. I know this is helping me to manage the stress of this passage. My physical body is doing well, but I can feel the stress in this too. Aster. The stress is about change, and we suggest that change is a constant anyway. In other words, this stress you feel need not be a part of this experience if you simply choose to release it. Continue to increase self-care. Rest frequently, drink plenty of good water, and attend to your need to ground the body to the core of Mother Gaia. It's a necessity to give special care to the body elemental at this time in order to support the levels of consciousness you will wish to maintain. We also are anxious to begin to unfold the agreement we've made with you. There's a reason so many attend you, and this reason is to honor the agreement you've made to be a conduit of divine energy in a particular way. We made this agreement together as a group, beyond time and space. We're here together to unfold this agreement in service to Gaia and in service to ourselves in the fulfillment of our love and our combined sense of mission and destiny. Of course, you may choose as a sovereign being to continue or not. We all hold this same sovereign right to choose in each moment. But we're here with you now to attend you with the knowledge we have of you, an intimacy that comes from being one. We are one, and have been beyond time. We know you as well as we know ourselves. We are one. We know your devotion and your choices as well as you do. We attend you as we attend ourselves as well. Among the many that we are, there are others, besides me, that have also other personas in form at this time. We are one, and so there are others in form that are also one with us too. We come forward at this time to form a mighty star of light beaming from the same sacred source, and you are one of these beams. Allow for us to be more fully integrated with you in form, this is the agreement you've made, and we're here to support you all the way to fulfillment. Thank you, Aster, and all the other who attend here as well. This is enough for now, but thank you for the work we did yesterday, I feel far more balanced and aligned with myself. There is more to talk about, perhaps soon. Farewell, my sister, myself, ourself. With love, farewell. Channeled by Andrea Scully. AndreaStarro.com